Hey guys, it's um LeBron Hitman. Sorry I sorry I haven't made a video recently, but here I go with another video. Alright. So this time I'm making a video about the yellow light of death fix. Well, as you can see from here, like I took out my whole motherboard and let me show you guys. These are all the pieces of my PS3. So I've taken it out and today I'm not gonna make a video about like how to take it out. Just gonna make a video about the actual fix itself, how to heat the motherboard, how to fix the yellow light of death. Okay, so to start things off, there are a couple of things you're gonna need to fix the yellow light of death itself. Um, first things you want to do is, as you can see, these two chips right here, this chip and this chip, it had something on it called uh, what's it? What do you call it? Thermal thermal compound. Right, and when you take it out, there's already supposed to be thermal compounds on this. And what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to wipe it off. So just take like a napkin, paper towel, whatever, and just like wipe the stuff off of it like really nice. If you can get like some alcohol or some goof off stuff, just like wipe it off. Another thing you're gonna need is thermal compounds. I like to um, use Arctic Silver Five. I don't know if this camera's gonna focus it. But right there, Arctic Silver 5. I recommend buying this. You can buy this off of eBay for like five, seven dollars. So it's not that bad. And this is like the best stuff you can get. Um, and last but not least, the main important, most important thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need a heat gun. So I got the JobMate heat gun. You can buy this at um your local hardware shop for um. Let me plug it in. Um, you can buy it for around like 10 to 15 dollars or maybe 20 dollars. So what you want to do is, um, what we're going to do, step one, is we're going to heat this whole motherboard up. So this entire thing. And if you watch the video on Jilkski, 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 I don't know how to pronounce it, on YouTube, he only heats up this, this, these two chips, and these two chips. I've been doing that part for like three, four times when I got my yellow light of death. I recommend doing the part that I'm going to show you, which is much better than like that. Because when I did the way his video showed it, my PS2 lasted me about three to four weeks. But the method I'm doing, it lasted me around two to three months. So it's up to you, whatever you prefer. If you have no time, if you have no life and you can do it, as many times as you want be my be my guest so take your heat gun and uh, first you want to warm it up and the temperature you want to use it around is around 250 degrees Celsius or 300 all right and um, yeah so you want to first warm up your gun and you want to heat the board up for about a minute or two minutes so I got my trusty iPhone right here and I'm gonna start the the timer on it. When it reaches like a minute thirty or two minutes, I'll see how long I want it for. Um, I'll stop doing this. So first of all, you want to warm up your gun. So it's warming up. It's getting pretty hot. So you want to give it a couple of seconds to warm up to the its uh, heat setting, all right? So what I'm gonna do is all of this stuff you see here all of this around here this and the most two important things that you want to heat up is this this these two chips and these two chips right here so that'll be the most important but you also want to heat up the entire board itself all right so and uh, you want to like leave about like an inch or an inch and a half to two inches of space between the motherboard and your actual heat gun nozzle Alright, so let's give it like 10 more seconds warming up. It's getting pretty hot right now. Yeah. Let's give it two seconds. Alright. Alright, I think it's heating up. Take the iPhone. Start.
and you kind of want to move in a circular motion around the whole thing you know so I'm gonna work from the outside and I'm gonna work my way to the inside alright and one thing I highly recommend you do is you do not I repeat you do not want to move this board and you need to leave it level as much as you can so please do not move this board once you have started doing this because it is going to mess it up like you're gonna have more problems than if you weren't to move it so do not move it at all please do not move it it's going to mess up the whole thing all right and you want to leave it 100 percent level so as you see i'm on these two chips right now and you want to leave it here for like you know a couple of seconds move on over here move on to this chip now the two bottom chips here and you always want to keep in a circular motion and now I want to trim the edges of this chip trim the edges here and go back to this chip just trim the edges now do the middle Trim the edges. Do the middle. And now just do the board again. Do all these chips outside here. Well, according to my iPhone, I've gone past two minutes, but you know what? I'm going to do it more than that. So, yeah. So, yeah, once again, you do not want to touch any of this while you're doing it. And you want to leave this as flat as possible and as level as you can alright and now what you want to do is you want to leave it for about half an hour or 45 minutes let it cool down do not touch it you will mess up the board do not touch it at all